always taking action for you. And first of six, the investigation of a business deal that deals in human body parts shifting from Detroit to Chicago as the feds launch a new raid. And once again, hundreds of families will be left wondering if the bodies of loved ones have been bought and sold on the black market. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kirchner is here tonight with a story you'll see only on 7 Jim. Stephen and Carolyn, this case started here according to sources when a man named Arthur Rathburn was shipping human body parts through Metro Airport. Get this, the box leaked blood. Those cargo haulers then called for help. Why were you stockpiling hundreds of human body parts here, sir? That's Art Rathburn. And remember his business 13 months ago? For two days, federal investigators dressed in hazmat suits removed body parts of a thousand different people. Arms, legs, heads cut up and kept on ice, not embalmed, so they would be fresh for the black market. Today, the rundown warehouse on Detroit's east side is shuttered and up for sale. Sources say Rathburn's seized records led them to the Chicago area today, a business called Biological Resource Center in Rosemont. It's difficult to see from the outside, but sources say the hazmat suits and raid are underway on the sixth floor of this office building. The same paper trail led investigators to Biological Resource Center in Phoenix last January and another raid removing body parts and corpses. There were also ties to similar businesses in Las Vegas. Since these dealt directly with the public, families were left without answers. Julie donated her husband Steve's body and was promised his cremated remains back in a month. Confused and, and angry. We thought that this was going to be doing some good. Yet it doesn't sound like it is. What do you say to all those families who had no idea their loved ones were in here? Michigan pulled Art Rathburn's license last year after our reporting, even though they were told about his problems two years before. You can go find license. out what the heck he is doing, and that wasn't done. Right? Did we do something two years ago? No, we didn't. Are we doing an investigation now? Yes, we are. Are you worried about going to prison? Now, no one has been charged by the feds yet. There are actually two locations involved in this raid going on right now in the Chicago area. The offices in Rosemont and the lab in another suburb where they have found body parts. But my sources say this case is winding down. And with this new evidence in Chicago, they can now finish this case after some 13 months. This is so gruesome. Any idea how many families you're talking about here with loved ones that may be involved? It's going to depend a lot on the records. It depends if they're talking hundreds or thousands. And with those records that they've seized, and are those records even up to date, yeah. or have they been doctored? That could be spelled out in an indictment once it's handed yeah. down. Yeah, you, you would not expect it necessarily to be accurate the way it's been handled so far. It could Indeed. be very, yeah.